You want to trade Forex and invest in financial markets, right? Then you need a broker. In under five minutes, I'm gonna tell you what you need to know about brokers before you get started. Hello there, and welcome to the Not Financial Advice YouTube channel, where we talk about all things trading, personal finance, and how to live your best life. If you want to make more money in less time while having way more fun in life, then this is the channel for you. Make sure you like this video, you subscribe to the channel for alerts on when we release our videos. People always get so hung up and fixated on brokers. Which broker should they use? Which broker is the right broker? There are some things that you do want to be aware of when it comes to picking the right broker for you. I'm also going to tell you the three brokers that I use and that's without any commission attached for me if you do choose to set up an account with them. Now if you already have a broker, fantastic. Well, it's fantastic as long as you are happy with them and you follow the principles below that I'm going to talk about and they will still check out. Choosing a broker really comes down to what are you comfortable with? Number one, make sure that they are registered in a financially regulated country. If the broker that you want to pick isn't registered in a country that has financial regulation, then your capital isn't protected. That means it is at risk. For example, if they're registered in the UK, then they are regulated by the FSA and the FCA, making your capital ring fenced up to a certain amount. Last time I checked, I think it was somewhere around £80,000, but that is subject to change. If they happen to be registered in Cyprus or some random island, then that is a bad thing. Avoid. Now, here is an easy way to find out where they are registered. On their website, they legally have to clearly state where their company is registered. Normally, this is right at the bottom. So scroll all the way down on the main page in the small print. Check that first. If you can't find their registered address anywhere on their website, again, that is a big red flag. Number two, avoid buying binary options brokers. I cannot even tell you the number of people that I have spoken to personally who have been scammed by binary options brokers. You may be one of them. My dad was too. There is no shame in it. You do not know what you do not know. They will effectively harass you on the phone until you put money into your account. The binary option system is mathematically designed to put you at a disadvantage. I don't have time to lay into why I would avoid binary options in more detail and why it is a lesser creature than real trading. But if you want to know more about that, then check out some of the free trainings I do in my closed Facebook group, link in the description of the video. Number three, be in control of your own money. Side point this one really, but it is often linked with binary. If you are giving someone at the broker at access to your funds to trade, then you are crazy. What are you doing? You're giving someone else control over your finances, giving up your responsibility and really just being lazy. You don't know how they are operating, what strategy they are using, what risk to reward they are using and anything like that. It is a surefire way to lose track of your money and leave yourself open to losing it all. And that is not what we want. Number four, commissions, spreads and fees. Make sure that you are completely aware of the commissions, the spreads and the fees that your broker may charge you. You do want your broker to be making money so they don't go out of business. That is how brokers end up going bust because they aren't making money and then you could lose your account anyway. You do need to be aware of the fees such as overnight holding fees and rolling fees. Different brokers charge different amounts for this, some more and some less. I personally prefer brokers that base their charges on the size of your trade position rather than just a flat fee, particularly helpful when you first start out. Number five, different brokers have different minimum account sizes. If you are starting out with a small account, like most of my students, then certain brokers will be out your starting range. That is because their trade size minimums are too large for you to trade safely and with correct risk management, meaning you won't be able to take all the trades that you want. It is better to start small and then we grow big. The brokers I use and my students use are FXCM, Overlex, IG. FXCM is the one I would recommend most people start with when they have a smaller account. There you have it, what you need to know about brokers in under five minutes. If you would like to join me and my team at the next training event we are doing, where we will be unlocking the secrets and techniques in more detail by teaching you the Bloomberg featured star trading method, then check out the details in the description below where I have a free gift for you as well. My name is Lewis Crompton and this is not financial advice.